Hello, my friends. Normally on Thursdays, we film about an hour episode where we answer your questions, or rather, Stephanie and Taylor answer your questions. Sorry, my dog is in the room, so you guys might hear, hear him scratching. But we have had something come up uh, collectively that's very, very exciting. We can't really speak on it now. But um, we only have about 10 minutes today uh, because of this. So we are just going to do a collective read today for the earth, for humanity, as we move into these really freaking exciting times. And um, next week, we'll pick back up with all of your questions. So welcome, my beautiful sisters. How are you guys? Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm good. How are you, B? How's it going? <laughs> you know, it's it's exciting times, isn't it? <laughs> How are you, Steph? <laughs> I'm just ready. Yeah. I'm ready. Heard. Heard. That. Hashtag same. Me too. <laughs> you guys, like we're at the year anniversary of the big event that happened last year. That was a beautiful movie that where they made the mistakes of like accidentally not putting in the same costumes from shot to shot to shot, if you know what we're talking about. Um, and so I think that a lot is going to start just really unwinding here. You know how I figured out that it, uh, what you just said, cause we got to be careful here. Mm -hmm. My 14 year old was the one who noticed it all. From the mouth of babes. From the mouth yep. of babes. I'm like, you are so brilliant. I love you so much. You're so brilliant. <laughs> I mean, bravo to the good guys who are behind the camera right now because just bravo. I mean, I think I don't I think I, I think you girls probably might agree with me that um there have been times during this this uh battle where i've been frustrated like what the hell is happening but now that we know what we know it's all worked out beautifully perfectly like it's divine perfect story right perfect let's close story. that book we're done with this chapter next we lay our swords down we want to close that book That's right and we want to march into a new earth so before we get i'm going to go ahead and show you guys what i pulled from my oracle i pulled from my angel cards first and then I clarified with my Mother Mary cards that Taylor gave me. So we have Archangel Michael, which is a favorite of a lot of ours, mm. um, Enchantment. So we're coming into a world of enchantment. Empathy. Oh, I think yeah. that's important for a lot of us watching right now. I oh, know wow. Before, is because there are going to be some people that are going to be moving into 40 with us who don't realize it yet because they're still indoctrinated. And so, and a lot of those people we know have not been that nice to us, but we're going to have to have empathy for them. And then that will lead to liberation. Oh, I love that energy right there. And I clarified all of this with the Mary card. So first I got Our Lady of Starting Over. Our Lady of Great Power. And Our Lady of New Vision make this stuff up nope which coincides with what i got too taylor did you want to go or do you want me to go go ahead i got some good stuff too but it matches you guys so i'll let you guys go ahead <laughs> so i pulled from the work your light deck and got warrior woman you have answered your deepest calling boom and then okay this gets really really good guys because as of a couple days ago this actually happened birthing a new age Birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. You guys are getting like very yeah. We're energy. getting like the exact same thing. And then I pulled from this is my new favorite, favorite oracle. Yes. I just, oh my God, I love it. Uh, star being healing codes, important information, wounds are healed, recharging. Mm. Isn't it parody? Yes. <laughs> and then I got. Okay, I keep getting this. I keep getting this. Every time I pull from this deck. Order of Mikelza deck. Embraced by light. Mission uncovered. Don't give up. No. We didn't come this far to get this far. <laughs> yep. I love my quotes. I love no, them. It's, good. <laughs> it's true. Like, it's really true. It's, it shows the strength, too, doesn't it? All right, Taylor, what's up? You want me to move forward? 
and then we'll just we, then we can pull like maybe like a couple cards out of the tarot and yep. go from there uh, yeah i have a couple tarot already out but i do just want to affirm well obviously both of you guys are pulling very very interesting things because it's mirroring the tarot too so we have the conflict in the energy right now and this is the importance of the empathy people are getting triggered all around us we know that everyone thinks they're right and it's really this huge surrender of energy of like this new beginning we don't a hundred percent have all the answers and, but we do within, I know that's a paradox, but of course, but I mean, at the end of the day, you can reach for anything you need at this now moment. But remember like Bryce's empathy card said, a lot of people are feeling like this, like, yes, as things move forward and we see the chaos and the conflict and we welcome it because we know it brings the new beginning, right? It's just like after a storm and the air is cleared and you're like, Oh my God, look at this fresh new start that we have. Right. But the energy for the others might not be the same. And that's why Bryce, grab that empathy card too right and then i have off world help we have the hermit too which is also enlightenment going within but that went with uh steph's codes that were coming in um i don't know how everyone's doing at night some people probably are sleeping and not remember their dreams other people are probably up with heat in their body just know you're getting activated and healed at night in this now moment too but this is one of my favorites um so we have the celebration energy surrounding divine feminine energy, which is something we've obviously been talking about for like how long now. So also the Empress energy is also mother earth, mother earth's ready to celebrate too. So not only do we have up in the cosmos, we also have the earth plane. And then I do feel like soul unions coming together. When we say this, we've said this before, it can be twin flames. If we don't have twin flame units, it's just soul family coming together. Finally, it's, it's really pretty energy sitting right here. I saw this and I was like, wait, this doesn't make sense, but it does because the energy that we're bringing in feels like this but it won't be like that for the entire collective and just remember that yeah i just if i'm blinking a lot guys it's because my eyeliner is suddenly making my eyes itchy so that's why i look like a goon right now <laughs> it's okay it's okay yeah <laughs> three tarot cards um i just shuffled them and you guys i you can't make this shit up so i got the high priestess in reverse which i think is important because we i think this is referring to like black magic all right Paired with that. Yes. Yeah, let's say. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. Can't make this shit up, guys. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna bust out into YMCA right now and do the I Mr. Mean, Chi dance. It's the final countdown, right? Like, <gasps> yes. You guys, the song downloads are madness. Like, I know. Uh, I, I was getting the celebration coming. song. <laughs> I feel it coming, baby. <laughs> So that means, in my opinion, that we're looking at a timeline where all the black magic spells, which we've talked about on our show before, but we're talking about not just individually, but like spell casting by, you know, just advertisements and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. It's coming to an end. And now the Wheel of Fortune is going to flip. Boom. And and no more going against free will, like any oh. spells, too. Yeah, go yeah. ahead, Steph. Sorry. I was yeah. Just no, no, that's okay. I was just waiting for you guys. No, no worries. Okay. So I just said god just channel a message for the collective and i just had random cards just fall out i was i was shuffling i didn't do my usual so we have the hangman the hangman is kind of like how we've been for probably the last year a lot of us especially if you've been awake for a while been in this hangman state like okay nothing's happening you know kind of feeling lost or feeling like uh disappointment and stuff like that um, this is one of those military cards I pull sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this is kind of what we're going into now. We know there's 50 states with that, with this card in it um, at this point. Um, this is going to be a lot of us light workers. Um, if you look at that person right there, they're being generous by giving to these people who are in need. A lot of us are going to be super busy going forward with uh, pouring out generosity. And that goes toward the em empathy card you got, Bryce. Mm -hmm. um and this is like you know the hand of the most high with his stick he's about to beat the living you know what back to hell where he belongs <laughs> that's what that's what i got visually from looking at this but this is like an ace saying yep things are about to happen because we have the wheel of fortune aspected next to it oh. we know with the wheel of fortune we all feel like we've been sitting down here we're going to be up there and vindication comes to mind with that card this card is talking about walking away from the old and walking toward the new. He's walking toward the, the light. He's walking toward the new world. Um, the Queen of Cups is balanced. She brings balance um, to everything. But on the contrary, it, this is going to be a very difficult process. That, that's very, very important to understand. But we're regaining our power and sovereignty with the King of Pentacles right there. Yeah. 
before we sign out, can we just hit a little bit on the whole spell casting thing again? Because um, my yes. friend Tom actually brought this up and I think it's important for us to talk about because you guys know that I've spoken about, um, I believe that season eight of American Horror Story was telling us the truth of like what's really going on. That this is like mm -hmm. coven against coven, basically. And, and there are dark spiritual workers and there are light spiritual workers. And I love that you kind of brought that about free will because spell casting is never good. There's never a good spell. Okay. We, we know we can bond, like we can put a protection around us, but you cannot put anything out there. That's going to um, put somebody else's free will in bondage. All right. So there are no such thing as good spells. Okay. So when we talk about like good witches, what we're talking about is light workers, people who are healers. All right. Um, I know when I did my deep dive into Skinwalker Ranch last year, I talked about that where um, they talked about the native tribes that the, the bad witches were ones that were trying to change the laws of nature to service themselves. Whereas good witches, medicine, men and women helped people cope with what nature was already providing. Okay. So that is the most important thing in all the cosmos is this idea of consent and free will. If you do anything out there, anything, put anything out there that's going to shift somebody else without their consent, that is for the darkness. Whether it's a love spell, whether it's uh, petitioning God for things, that is not, not surrendering to free will. And you cannot, you cannot put people on bondage. You cannot control them. That is not of the light. All right. So I just want to make sure people are aware of that. Even when you are a healer, you have to have people's permission to heal, to be, to heal someone, right? You can't heal someone without their permission. You can't do it. Can I add to that too? I, I think it's really imperative what you said too about the working with nature. That's something that I always felt too. So we're speaking of universal laws, which are in effect and going in effect. And anyone who's gone against these universal laws, even if it was unknowingly, they're going to have to have repercussions for that. And I'm not saying like, it's going to be awful for people who unknowingly participated. That's not what I mean. But when we speak of like the white witch thing or the green witch and that kind of stuff, we're talking about like making medicine from the earth and stuff like that. As far as spell casting goes, our words, or spell casting, make sure you're saying nice things. But other than that, even when you send something back to someone, you're like, I send it back to them tenfold. Do you really want that karma? What if they were trying to kill you with their spell or whatever, right? Like, do you yeah. really want that karma of sending a death thing to someone 10 times? And the other thing about it too, for me is if it's going against free will, or even if it's like, you feel like you're doing something nice. I don't, I don't know. I just, I think that we've been taken advantage so much with this spell casting stuff that like, I mean, any, any of this is, it's gotta be, it's gotta kind of be sifted out. It's kind yes. of, I just don't think this is something that's going to stay. I just, no. I don't think it can. And even when I, in my situation, which we've spoken about, not once did I ever do any spell casting, did I? No. Mm -hmm. I just put up bounds of protection. And you I had did the protection yes. thing. We did like protection mantras. We did protection um, against any kind of tools that were manipulated. Um, it was pretty much like putting a big bubble of protection, um, as a Christian would say, hedge of protection um, around certain things, whether it be our souls, our tools, our loved ones, that sort of thing. Yeah. It was never to even, we didn't even condemn them. No. When no. we never. said our mantras, yeah, we never, never. condemned no, it's not my job to, to judge the people there. Yeah. To me, it's, it's, it's God's, it's God the will, universe's yeah. job. So, and, and I don't need to do that because, um, karma is a bitch and when <laughs> it out comes back. And so you, you're allowed to protect yourself Absolutely. by putting up light around you. You just cannot, you can't fight fire with fire when it comes to spell casting. If someone's doing black magic on you, you can get protection. You just, you just should not be sending it back to them. Let, let God deal with that. So I wanted to make that very, very clear when we talk about that. We're not talking about us sitting around doing potions and sending out spells into the, no, we're literally talking about healing people and helping people find their own power and their own sovereignty. You know, no more, when we come into this no, new world, there's gonna be no more bondage. There's gonna be no more enslavement to anything because you are a sovereign person. Whether you're a female or a male, you are a sovereign individual and no one, 
No one has the right to take your free will away from you, nor can they really, because you were created as a sovereign, sovereign person, as a holy individual soul. And so, um, so yeah, no more arranged marriages, no more of that stuff. It's all, it's all going to be individual choice and consent. So, um, so I just want to make that very, very clear for you guys. So if you do feel, I, I, I feel like, I feel like things have lifted. I feel like a lot of the, the bad players are kind of not able to do what they, the damage they once did. In fact, when I feel like it's happening, I kind of get a little tickled because it's kind of pathetic at this point. Um, <laughs> you know, just laugh, just laugh at them because it really is kind of pathetic. Um, and, and just ask for your bubble of protection around you. And that's, that's fine. You can, or you just say, I don't consent and put your protection around you. And then let God deal with the rest. So, um, so anyway, any parting words, lady, before we sign off for today? Well, also a reminder to those, like, when we're talking about this kind of stuff, those players who are more service to self can't literally physically survive in a 4D positive world. Oh, they can't. No. So if you're service to self, you got to really start soul searching and start <clears throat> figuring out are, what are you polarizing, the negative or the, the positive? Um, because if you're polarizing the negative and I don't mean to get dark here, but you know what I mean? It, it, a fourth density positive planet cannot hold negativity. We're going to a heaven on earth. No, it can't hold fourth density negative, nor can it hold any third density anymore. Yep. So. And you say on to the next. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's there we go. go. We ride a dog, bitches. Let's do it. Let's go. And then we'll just all of us together, just celebrating I don't know. This card has been a, I love that card. a, a like frequent that. in my, in my now moment. So hold on to that in the tower one. card. Yeah. yeah. That's I, all I yeah. do. That's our card. Yeah. 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 So that's, that's Cheers. Our... Cheers. So, so <laughs> yes. So, and, and whatever, I mean, I'm, I'm tickled pink. Like every time I get on Twitter and I just watch the dominoes fall, it's, it's exciting to me to see everything. So just enjoy the ride guys. Like this is the end it's gonna, there's gonna be obviously tower moments that might be a little scary, but know that this is what you were made for. This is what you signed up for. So, um, so hopefully next week, guys, we'll have more time. So I, sorry today, we did plan on doing hour today, but something has come up. So we were only able to do a quick little uh, pull for the collective today. So next week, we'll be getting back to your questions. All right, guys, we love you very, very, very much. And, um, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Love you. Bye.